if evergreen notes are the bricks that you use to build your digital mind or second brain, then literature notes is the clay that you use to make those bricks. They're the notes that you take while consuming information to capture and process new thoughts and ideas. Hey, I'm Jeffrey, and this is the next video in my Creating a Digital Mind series in Obsidian. If you haven't checked out any of the previous videos, I'll include a link to the playlist up above. But in this video, I'm going to cover my guidelines for producing literature notes while I'm consuming information. And the reason why I think it's important to have guidelines for writing these literature notes is so that you can approach the process systematically so that you're generating a valuable output that is easy to work with in your system. If you're doing it differently every single time, then it's going to be a challenge down the road when you're trying to incorporate these notes within your second brain or digital mind. So let's jump in first and look at why we should summarize and not copy information. One of the biggest challenges that I find with writing notes while I'm consuming information is that I'll come across an interesting idea and I immediately want to capture it, which ends up meaning that I capture it mostly in the same words that was used by the source text. Whereas what I'm trying to do now is to summarize, not copy, and to do that by reading and reflecting and then writing in chunks. So taking a larger piece of the content, reading through, and then reflecting, thinking back on the interesting ideas that are there, and then I start writing. And that helps prevent me from just copying word for word or almost word for word from the source text. And really I'm trying to focus on capturing the wisdom or the thoughts that come from it rather than just uh, be a list of facts that I'm writing down. And when you're reflecting on the information that you just read, especially as you consume in larger chunks, it really is a form of active recall, which is an effective way to help you learn because your mind has to work to fill in those gaps of the information that you're consuming. And I also find that it helps to identify the ideas that are actually resonating with you the most, the most personal and interesting ideas so that you, when you go to create those notes, you're going to be creating them on what's actually interesting to you at the time that stick out in your mind, rather than just capturing every single thought from a piece of text, which could add a lot of resistance to your consumption process if you have to capture every single idea that the source text has to offer. So that leads into the next idea, which is really creating the notes for what's interesting to you. If you're not filtering out the less relevant information to you, then it's going to be also harder to write it in your own words. You're going to default more to copying the ideas from the, the source. And then you're also going to feel more resistance to consuming. If you feel like every time you sit down, that it's just going to be a slog to capture everything, even things that are not interesting, then that's a lot of friction that you're adding to the input processes of your personal knowledge management system. So if you focus on the interesting ideas, you're going to ensure that your evergreen notes are personal notes, that they mean something to you so that your digital mind is not filled with a bunch of information that is worthless or meaningless to your life. And I, I think that if you just focus on what's interesting, it's going to be a much more enjoyable and fruitful experience when you're extracting that information. It's, it's relevant to your current context, context. And it's also good to remember that we grow and change over time. So when we potentially come back to a source material, later down the road, whether it's a book or a video or, or an article, we might get something different out of it at that time, something that's going to be relevant to the person and interest and the goals that we have then. So focus on what's interesting to you now instead of trying to capture everything. Another thing that I suggest doing is developing some sort of system for capturing follow-up actions so that you don't have to unnecessarily context switch and break your flow state when you're interacting with a piece of content. And I, I do this by indicating within my notes whether something is a question that I wanna follow up on and go a little bit deeper into. If there's a tension, let's say, between 
one idea and another or research that I might want to look deeper into later. I just have a way of indicating within the literature note itself that there is something else that I might want to do with this in the future and I can just know that I have it captured to come back to later. But the other thing that you don't want to necessarily do is to get so tunnel visioned that you don't explore your thoughts more fully. So you also have to realize that when you're writing literature notes, it is a way to explore your idea. So when you come across an idea and you're inspired, you want to keep writing about that idea for as long as that inspiration lasts. As long as you have something more to say on that idea or potential connections to different things, you want to just keep writing. And then once you kind of run out of steam, then you can come back to the source material and continue consuming. And it, it really is supported by this idea that you have to do a lot of bad work first to get to the really good stuff. So if you can develop your thinking more while writing these literature notes, the more you write, the better and better ideas and connections I think you're going to uh, get to. And this also goes along with summarizing instead of copying. If you're just going through and copying line by line, you're not really advancing your thinking, you're more just transcribing the information. So give yourself uh, time to explore the idea, and then once you mind as much out of that inspiration as you can, then go back to the source material for more. Because the whole point of this uh, system is to help develop your thinking even more. Another thing to remember is that your initial thinking, the literature notes that you take while you're consuming, is going to be chaotic. It's going to be messy. So you don't need to worry about grammar or spelling or word choice. Just embrace the chaos of those initial notes. Capture your ideas and move on. And I'll talk a little bit about how you still want to remember to capture a complete thought, but if you try to make your notes perfect in the first pass, again, that's going to add, I think, a lot of unnecessary resistance to your process and you're not going to want to sit down and take notes while you're consuming. So at this stage, you don't want to get bogged down with creating links to other notes, worrying about whether the idea is already in your system or not, going ahead and executing follow-up actions. Like I said, you want to develop a system so that you can easily capture that you might want to do something later and just continue on with the writing process. So just trust the design of your system that you will return to these notes and be able to refine them later into those evergreen notes that will live kind of more permanently within your system. But to this idea that literature notes are complete thoughts, they, they are the first stage of your knowledge management system. So it's important to carry as much information and context forward within that system. So write in full sentences instead of jot notes, because by the time you come back to process them, you want to be able to remember what it is that you were thinking and what ideas you want to be able to capture long term. And that will just make it easier to incorporate them into your digital mind later on. Thanks everyone for watching. I would love to hear about your strategies and tactics for taking literature notes down in the comments below. And if you haven't checked out the video for my information consumption system where I write my literature notes in Rome Research, you can check the link to the video up here somewhere. And I will see you all next time.